Hey guys, and welcome to another Logic Pro X tip. Um, drummer tracks. When you load a drummer track and put a drummer on it, whichever drummer you choose, it will load the default kit for that drummer. So there's Kyle on the drummer track and it loads Kyle's patterns and it loads Kyle's default kit. If I switch to Logan, it changes to Logan's patterns and loads Logan's default kit. But you can have any drum instrument you want on a drummer track played by the drummer patterns. Here's the drummer track, here's the channel for the drummer track, and there's the actual instrument, the drum kit designer. So if you open up that instrument list, you can put any drum instrument on there that you want. You can put the default drum kit designer, which you've already got, you could put on um, an EXS sampler and load up any kit that you want into that or use your own samples. You could put an ultra beat on there and have the drummer play ultra beat. You can have the drummers play drum machine designer. And of course you can have the drummers play any third party instruments. Like here's Modo drum. So if I put Modo drum on here. Now the current drummer, Logan, the Logan's patterns are going to play this third party instrument. Modo drum, albeit with the default kit which I've not tweaked or mixed. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now one other thing, once you've put your third party instrument on here or your sampler uh, or your ultra beat or, your, or whatever other alternative instrument you want to be triggered, you might want to then change different drummer patterns but keep that instrument all the time. Well to do that, you go over to the library where the drummers are and where it says sounds, you lock the padlock. Now your instrument that you've put on the drummer track will stay there and you can change drummers. You can change drummers to your heart's content and without the kit having to be changed every time you switch drummer, changing drummers is instant like that. Anyway, that's how you do that.